Hey there, beautiful souls. Today's reading will be dedicated to your future self, but your future self not so far away in the future, your future self at the end of this year. So just because we are already in June and we are halfway through this year, I decided to just take a look at the energies that are about to come on the other half of the year. So in order to determine the pulse, I'm going to use the Green Witch Oracle, which has a lot of fruits and vegetables. I didn't have the chance to study my decks that good. I mean, this deck has pretty much uh, all the information on it, but uh, I really like to spend some time and go deeper into my decks in order to get more information. That's why I will be using the entire week this deck mostly for pick a pile. And next week I hope I manage to read all the books about it and all the instructions in order to use it more effectively in the readings. And for today's reading actually I will go quite simple. I will talk about, I mean, I will go into your future self at the end of this year, but at the same time I will give you something like a stepping stone from the present moment in order to well, in order to know what the current energies are and not just talk about the future, just to have some kind of a reference to the present as well. So let's not waste any time and keep going with the pile picking. Oh, by the way, Bulbasaur wants to say to you, just be proud of who you are. <laughs> Regardless of age, gender or sexual orientation or anything, just be proud of yourself. So, let's see which card is going to represent pile number one. We have the cucumber, <laughs> okay. Let's see which card is going to represent pile number two. We have P, <laughs> okay. I really love those veggie decks. <laughs> they have so many symbols on them. Which card is going to represent pile number three? We have the grape. Okay. It's looking good. By the way, sorry if you are hearing any noises on the background. It's just because there are trucks and there is a reconstruction going on here as always. I hope my phone is isolating most of the noises, but yeah. So... Just focus on the card that attracts you the most, focus on the card that your intuition just leads you towards. And I will give you a few seconds in order to pick the card that uh, your intuition has chosen for you and that will lead you to your reading. So I'll meet you in the readings. Hey there, pal number one, for those of you who chose the cucumber. The cucumber has something to do with emotion, as you can see that it's written on the card. So I feel like you might be dealing with emotions or in general, this card wants to indicate some kind of prosperity. Just keep your head clear out of emotions, but it dives deep into emotions. And we have the cancer sign here, which is also quite sensual, sensitive kind of sign that can also indicate something about feelings and emotions. Maybe some of you will, will be a bit uh, more sensitive uh, towards the next period of the year, but it doesn't have to say like, um, I mean, it doesn't mean sensitive like crying or something like that. Sensitive might mean that your senses might increase. You might start feeling things in a different way. You might, you might just get uh, more intuitive responses as well. But the main thing about this card is emotion. So, yeah, what I feel from this card is that you will be dealing with some kind of emotional things. They might be positive or they might be a bit harder to, harder to assimilate, but overall, what I feel is that, I mean, at least the, the rest of the year is not going to be boring for you. There will be things that you will be more or less emotion, emotional about. Mm. 
in order to determine the major energy of the next six months i will be using my season of witches tarot which uh, i studied last week i was just reading the the guidebook and everything about this deck but i still have some keywords in my notebook that is next to me in case something just goes out of my mind and actually these cards have reversed meanings as well so i will just uh, i will just shuffle like this and try to get some reverse cards as well just bear with me all right Okay, Spirit, please give us information about the main energy of the next uh, six months. What are the main energies? What we need to know? We have the rooted in reverse position. Please, Spirit, give us more information. We have the candle magic. Okay. And one more. We have the graveyard in reverse position as well. Okay, so let's start with the first card. We have rooted in reverse position. So with this card, uh, this card invites you to get more grounded. This card invites you to just uh, connect with your roots or just connect with um, with what makes you feel more stable. So having this card in reverse position it might uh, want to give you some kind of special attention to your roots, to your um, sense of uh, stability throughout the next uh, six months of the year. So there should be special attention paid to your stability. It might be, it might be physical stability or, or financial stability, but this might be some kind of a topic that you need to pay special attention. And also having the cucumber here I sense that, um, yeah, the emotions might uh, come in between your um, your mind and your uh, common mind and in general with your mindfulness, with your present state of being. So the rooted card in reverse position, I feel like it just wants to say to you just to be more grounded, just to connect with your roots, just to um, focus on uh, what... Uh, what makes you feel stable focus on those things focus on things that will just give you some kind of stability in order to in order to have more clear perspective of uh, what uh, what is going on throughout the year and let's take a look at the card itself we have trees and we have a woman that is just walking around mm. well i don't know why here this tree there is something like a small white dot on it and it just feels like a door to me in general this space between these trees feels like a door it's like there is some kind of a hidden door that you can open and you can discover something new that's what i'm feeling and this woman here she seems a bit like confused like she has her eyes closed and it's like she has accepted uh, in a humble way all the things that are coming in her life and she has just um, decided to go within and here this thing that to me looks a bit like a door i don't know why i just see it as a door a bit i feel like this card wants to say to you just dive within dive within yourself and find out that thing that makes you feel stable that makes you feel secure and this will unlock new doors to you this is what I sense from this card. Okay, I will put it in its way that the way it came. And then we have candle magic. Mm. The candle magic wants to indicate to you to just uh, focus on what you want. Just um, give some kind of dedication. Because as you can see the girls on, in this card, they are preparing to make some kind of a ritual they are preparing to make something and they are just putting their efforts on it they are just uh, putting their intentions on it so this card just wants to indicate to you whatever is that thing that you have in your mind as a goal or as an idea 
maybe it would be a good thing to just start taking small steps towards it or just uh, put it as an intention either just write it down on a piece of paper or try to visualize it like just just uh, like take a notebook and start write it, writing down how things are happening how you want them to be write it down in the present tense this might help you to just get more perspective to to what you want to attract in your life in the next six months or in general what you want to attract as a goal as a, as achievement in your life but the candle magic is all about dedication here and uh, also seeing those four girls here i feel like it might have something to do with friends maybe as a general energy it might want to say to you to just uh, not keep things uh, on your own maybe try to share things with friends or maybe try to ask advices from friends and in general don't uh, stay alone too long try to be in a company of people that uh, are more or less uh, like-minded because here we see that they are all dedicated in that candle magic and they are into that magical thing and those candles are floating so it's like something going on there and i don't know maybe it's just me but i see these three candles a bit like a heart like if you look at it like this it's like a heart here <laughs> forming so also if you have some troubles in your love life maybe it would be good to just uh, sit down and write it down somewhere on a notebook or something that will just um, make you feel better or in general, this card wants to say to you, just put your intentions on what you want. And then we have the graveyard. Okay, so this card, it came in reverse position. I'm just going to take a look at it like that. Well, what I sense from this card, it's not uh, always that negative. It just, it just wants to say that something is done, something is gone. And... Uh, yeah, I mean, it doesn't want to say that, um, you know, there is literally some kind of a death situation here. It just wants to say to you that you need to clear up what um, what is not serving you. You need to clear up what um, is already gone in your life and make peace with it and just move on from it. And since this card came in reverse position, I feel like it just wants to make that effect even stronger to you. It just wants to say to you just make peace with what is gone do not look back do not look back in the past because the past is there in order to give you some kind of lesson some kind of experience but it's not going to come back to your present i just want to say to you make peace with what has happened what is gone is gone and just keep moving forward because what is expecting you is is not going to be going back to the past it's just keep moving forward in order to in order to have better future and let's take a look better at these cards we have i feel like this is the very same girl sorry for the camera shake <clears throat> she looks like here she looks like a bit dead here she looks like she's um, emerging from that tombstone here she looks like she's just waking up from her slumber but i feel like this wants oops sorry this wants to say something uh, about spirit yeah yeah actually i feel like this wants to say to you something about your soul about your spirit that uh, it is multi-dimensional and uh, not everything is the way it seems not everything is the way it seems so it just wants to say to you just to make peace with with some kind of situation in your life with some kind of a situation that you might not like that much but it just wants to say to you just make peace with it and move on okay so as i promised you about uh, the future self-healing i will be using two different decks and they will be tarot decks i won't be using any more oracle cards that i that i already have used I'm just going to shuffle this deck in order to get some reverse cards and I will be using the classic Rider Waite Tarot uh, for the present 
for the current energies and then I will be using the after tarot to see future situation. There, sorry for the interruption. They were cutting the grass outside and they were making terrible noises, that's why I had to pause the video. But now I'm going to continue from where I stopped. So I was about to take some tarot cards in order to in order to see present situation. So let's take a look what are the present energies. Please, spirit, give us information. What are the present energies around pile number one? The ones who chose the Cucumber. What are the present energies around pile number one? Oh, the tower. And under it we have the strength card in reverse. And the hanged man. Okay. Three major arcanas, pile number one. Three major arcanas. Something big is going on at the moment with you. Sorry for the interruption again. The people were quite loud, so I had to pause again. So we have the tower card and with the tower card what i'm feeling is that at the moment is a current energy something is uh, falling down in your life something is just being like like the carpet is pulled under and everything is just going down and you might be experiencing something like a dark night of the soul or some kind of a moment in your life when things are just it feels like everything is falling apart but this is a major arcana which wants to indicate that even though things might be falling apart, it's it is falling apart because of um, yeah because it just have to go down. It kind of reminds me of the energy of the graveyard card in reverse position here, because the graveyard card wants to say to you that something is pretty much done for, something is going away. You should just accept it, just make peace with it. And with the tower card, I sense the similar energy as a current energy here that something is going down and. Uh, since it came as a major arcana card, there isn't much that you can do about it. You can just uh, be mindful about it and just um, just uh, let what is not serving you to go down and just let it go. Because the tower card wants to indicate some kind of sudden change, some kind of abrupt moment that is just happening and something is just falling down for a reason. And yeah, I just... I just go, go get fixated on the lightning here, so it might be something sudden, some kind of a sudden event, some kind of a sudden change that is going on as a current energy now in your life. And having the strength card in reverse position also wants to indicate some kind of indecision, some kind of um, um, maybe not enough courage in order to proceed with that uh, tower moment, maybe Maybe some of you are afraid to take some kind of a new move, or some of you are just um, some of you are just not daring to take action towards something, or maybe some of you are experiencing trouble with your either physical or mental health as well because you have the strength card, which has something to do with the with the well-being as well. And in the bottom of the deck we have the hanged man in reverse position which wants to indicate um, I just get focused on that sun behind the hanged man which um, we just uh, I mean he's hiding that sun with his hat I just noticed that that it's like uh, it's like he's getting some kind of enlightenment with that sun behind him so to be honest, what I get as a vibe from the hangman is not something negative. Normally the hangman in reverse position wants to indicate um, fear of making sacrifice, fear of letting go of something, which is similar to the graveyard uh, card. But within this hangman, I mean, I just see him like standing tall, almost like levitating. And I see him like um, knowing what he has to do. So I feel like whatever is going on in your life is a current energy deep down you know that it has to go that way deep down you know that you just have to make peace with it and let it go the way it has to go and i just feel some kind of spiritual energy from that hanged man it's like um it's like he knows what is best for him and he knows that 
he has that inner knowledge to keep calm in all kind of situations that's what i'm sensing from this card okay please spirit give us information about the future what is the future self uh, of the person who chose the the cucumber card wants to say about this situation how things are going to go by the end of this year regarding this current energy how things are going to shift we have the five of cups and eight of cups and page of swords okay talking about emotions with the cucumber here we have here we have cards that indicate emotions as well. So with the five of cups, what I'm feeling is that you are, well, your future self wants to say to you that by the end of the year, you might be a bit in a mood that um, like you are not uh, wanting to see something, like you are a bit more, uh, how to say, isolating yourself, trying to just, um, isolate yourself and not uh, focus on anything else just um, yeah there might be a bit dark thoughts there might be a bit like uh, a bit depressive thinking but uh, it is not as bad as it seems this is the good news here because you still have those two cups behind you even though those three are already spilled even there is a person that is drowning but you are not seeing that person because you are like too much drowned into your own thing and you are refusing to say anything else but um, it just it, it has to do something with the emotions I mean you have the cucumber which indicates emotions and yeah usually the cucumber I was as I read about it just a few just a few minutes ago before I I mean after I draw this card I the cucumber wants to say some kind of prosperity emotions but also overcoming emotions so maybe this is what your future self wants to say to you as a warning just don't let those emotions take the best of you and uh, in the bottom of the deck we have the eight of cups which again wants to say some kind of emotional detachment of something but here we see someone that is coming back for those emotions even though this person is going away this person has come back and is reminiscing something so your future self wants to say to you regarding this tower moment whatever this tower moment is some of you are going to feel a bit um, some of you are going to feel a bit um, depressive some of you are going to just um, go within yourself go within your thoughts within your emotions but uh, at the same time a bit isolate the world around you and you will keep i mean this is happening because some of you might keep going back to something some of you might keep going back to something that it's like you are trying to find some kind of um, some kind of peace within a memory that's what I'm sensing from this card because this girl looks a bit like a ghost she looks a bit like a spirit like someone who is uh, trying to find some kind of uh, harmony and peace in a place that is already gone in a memory and having the page of uh, swords um, in the bottom of the deck well the page of swords is quite brave and this page of swords i mean we see that there are some people that are coming after him and he's holding his sword but i don't sense that uh, determination as the regular page of swords from the classic tarot in this uh, after tarot i feel like he's a bit hesitant he's holding his sword like your future self is saying to you you have your the ability to free yourself from that you can free yourself from this situation but um, it's a bit up to you if you really want to free yourself or if you need some more time for healing because actually this is what i sense from this card as well that this girl just keeps going back to something in order to find in order to be in some kind of a memory in order to find some kind of peace and some kind of memory and as long as you need to go back in your memories or in some kind of 
past situation that gives you peace then yeah that's let let it be i mean this is part of a healing so there is nothing you can do just um just yeah go with the healing itself and even if you need to go back in some kind of a memory every now and then just do it but just keep remember that you should focus on your healing so maybe it's a good idea just to write down things in a notebook or just uh, keep notes in general and try to meditate and see yourself like try to focus on the present moment and try to detach yourself from your thoughts like that you are going to detach yourself from the emotions as well as we have with the cucumber here so this is like um yeah with the page of swords here in the bottom of the deck that i just want to say to you that the choice is yours you can cut through this or you can just uh, hold on to it a bit longer until you heal but you have the sword in your hands you seem a bit hesitant but you have that sword and you can free yourself from that all right now let's move towards your professional life just going to move these ones a bit further away so i have more space please spirit give us information about the professional life of pal number one what is the current energy in their professional life now we have the six of pentacles in reverse and the eight of pentacles in upright and again the hanged man came <laughs> okay so the hanged man is representing neptune <laughs> so neptune is the planet of illusions and dreams and all kind of stuff like this and since this card is coming in the bottom of the deck multiple times i feel like it has something to do with your dreams and with your illusions so maybe you should focus on on your dreams as well that's the message from this card that i'm just picking up but let's go in your professional life as a current energy so we have the six of pentacles in reverse position which wants to say that here we have some kind of unfair situation as a current energy in your professional life it feels like uh, either you are doing something that um, it just doesn't feel um, satisfying enough for you i mean having the four of uh, not for eight of pentacles in the bottom i mean above below this card wants to indicate that you are working really hard you are you are doing something like a mastership you are paying attention to the details you are doing your best to to make something in a very best way but at the same time what you receive might not be enough from that from that work position or that profession that you are doing what you receive might not be what you deserve it might be a bit less than what you deserve and there is some kind of unfair situation here and again having the hanged man in the bottom of the deck it just wants to indicate that um, i feel like this card just wants to hint you something that that there is some kind of uh, sacrifice going on or just uh, there is something as a bigger picture that is going on that you are about to get enlightened about it but this is a current energy so i mean i again notice that sun behind this hangman behind his head so i feel like most of you already know that there is something better and bigger for you in the future but uh, right now now this card wants to say to you as a general energy that you might need to make some sacrifice like doing some kind of a job or some kind of profession that you know that is not your passion is not what you desire but it's just the circumstances that are pretty much obliging you at least this is what the cards want to indicate so please future self of pal number one tell us how will be the professional life of the people who chose pal number one how things are going to evolve from that uh, current energy that we have here we have the knight of swords and the three of wands and the full cards okay so 
I'm just going to take special, I mean, going to pay special attention to these cards because they are uh, indicating tarot in the future. So here with this Knight of Swords, um, I feel like some of you are going to take some kind of action because here you can see that this knight is ready to slice someone, ready to battle with someone. This knight is determined and I feel like your future self is saying to you, you are going to find that uh, inner passion that you have. You are going to be determined to cut what is not serving you. And uh, I mean, you can see that this guy is like falling down and he's dropping his sword, not his sword, his shield. And it just gets my attention that his shield has heart shape. So that heart shape might indicate uh, like the profession that you love, the profession that you want to acquire. So maybe somebody is holding that away from you and you are taking action and slicing that obstacle in front of you. But... Uh, yeah, with the Knight of Swords, I sense that there will be a lot of movement here within this card. Actually, the all the cards that came out for from your future self about your professional life indicate some kind of movement. They indicate some kind of action and some kind of movement. Something is going to change within your professional life. And you might start something from the beginning. You might start something new and you might start it from the beginning, which might come a bit difficult. We are going to take a look at that. So having the Knight of Swords wants to indicate that you are going to charge forward and try to cut through some kind of obstacle that is on your way. And having the Three of um, Three of Wands under this card, this man is set in that fal falcon or that uh, hawk, that bird. Mm. And there are ships around here in the sea. The water is a bit golden. The golden water might indicate something with the finances. Mm. But what I'm sensing from this card is that you're about to set something in motion. You're about to start something in your professional life. You're about to get some kind of idea or something and you are going to charge forward. That's what I'm feeling from your future self. Your future self wants to indicate to you that Indeed, from these cards, I feel some kind of action, some kind of movement. I mean, if you take a good look at this card, you can see that there is a feather dropping from this falcon. So, it just wants to indicate about the speed that this uh, falcon is charging forward. It's like, it's just starting to fly. It's just uh, starting to, I mean, it's just departing. So, I feel like uh, you're about to start something. You're about to set something out there, something new. And there might be a lot of competition there as well. But as you can see in this card, you are like cutting through that competition. You are slaying that competition. And also here in the distance, there are birds flying as well. Birds are like messengers. Birds are like, um, well, they just want to indicate some kind of freedom. You are freeing yourself from something. It might be some kind of a tedious job that you've been, you are doing right now or some kind of a profession that just feels like um, suffocating or not what you love. And here we have the Fool card as a general energy. So the Fool wants to indicate some kind of new beginning. But uh, here we can see that the fool is already hanging on the cliff. He has already fallen from the cliff, but he doesn't seem to care. So I feel like if the fool from the classic tarot wants to indicate freedom, then the fool from the after tarot wants to indicate even more freedom. This person is like completely in different realm. Doesn't care that he's fallen from the cliff. He's just smelling that rose that he admires and he just I mean, even in the position of his legs, it, it, it looks like he still thinks that he's walking. So, I feel like some of you are going to acquire complete freedom. Some of you are going to completely free yourself from something that was not making you happy in your professional life. And it might be, I'm not going to lie, it might be a bit shaky, it might be a bit... Uh, it might be a bit difficult for you because you can see that this man is, hang is just holding on to a rock in order to not fall from a cliff. 
but it doesn't seem like it's bothering him that much. Similar like the hangman here, I feel like things are going going on with your life, things that might not be that easy to deal with, but deep down there is some kind of protection here, there is some kind of spirit or some kind of... Um, some kind of protection over you, that's what I'm sensing from the cards. The cards just want to indicate that you are protected regardless of what is going on. Okay, last but not least, I'm going to ask about your love life. Just going to move the cards a bit. Mm, maybe I should proceed in a different way because the cards are way too many and it's a bit messy. Uh, yeah, we'll just leave it like that for now. But if there is something coming up, I mean, just having these cards around here will help me to go back there and see if they are connected with other cards. So please, Spirit, give us information about the love life, the people who chose the cucumber. What we need to know about their love life as a current energy. Please, Spirit, give us information. We have the Queen of Cups in reverse. And the Page of Swords in reverse as well. And under this we have the Sun card in reverse again. Okay, that's interesting. So, as a current energy regarding your love life. Mm, well, having the Queen of, uh, so Queen of Cups in reverse position. It wants to indicate that some kind of emotional dissatisfaction here. There are feelings that are not being met. This queen looks quite sad. And she's holding that cup. Let's take a look at her from upright position. She's holding that cup, but at the same time, she seems a bit sad. Her head is like inclined a bit forward and... It just wants to indicate some kind of uh, emotional dissatisfaction. And I just noticed that here on the throne there is engraved a baby that looks a bit like the sun card. So it might be related with the sun card as well. But here the baby is holding a fish. So I feel like that in general there is some kind of dissatisfaction here. Mm. It's like you want to get something. It's like you try to catch something in your in your romantic life in your love life but at the same time it feels like it is a bit out of your reach and having the page of swords in reverse position as well it wants to indicate that um, there is some kind of indecision there is some kind of um, confusion here something that you might not know or something that is really confusing you regarding your love life Maybe there is someone that is giving you mixed signals and you are very confused and perplexed about that person. And having the sun card in reverse position wants to say that you are trying to be alright, you are trying to be happy, maybe some of you are happy, but that happiness doesn't seem like complete, that happiness seems like um, a bit shaky, like it's not... Um... Well, there are some concerns, that's what I'm feeling as a general energy. So, please, future self of the of pal number one, tell us what is about to happen in their love life by the end of this year. How the energies are going to shift? What is about to happen? We have the four of swords. We have the nine of uh, cups and the nine of swords. Okay. So, this came positive, this came good. So, with the Four of Swords card, we have somebody that is in a meditative state, somebody that is taking a rest. And we have a lady that is going there and giving him a white flower, which indicates some kind of purity here. So, maybe some of you, your future self wants to indicate that some of you are going to just take some kind of break some kind of healthy rest in order to recover 
Your future self wants to say to you regarding your love life that you are not about to rush forward. You are just going to take things a bit more peaceful and uh, just try to recover from what is going on as a current energy. And there is a lot of hope and promise in that. And having the nine of uh, nine of cups under this card, it wants to say that uh, regarding your love life, maybe some of you are going to start dating again. If we are talking, if you are talking about people that are not in the relationship, mm, maybe some of you are going to start dating again. But you will be a bit more picky this time. <laughs> you are, you will have better idea what you want in your love life. And you will be a bit more picky and you will have a lot of options here. I mean, you can see all the cups. So the cards just want to indicate some kind of general positivity here. Whatever is going to happen in your love life by the end of this year, you will have options and you will be a bit more picky, but uh, you are going to stay true to your principles and you are willing to wait for the best thing to come into your life. You are not willing to just jump to the next. You are willing to wait for the you are willing to willing to wait for the right one, not just for the next one. That's what the cards are going are indicating here. And having the nine of swords um, is a general energy. I mean, you can see that this nine of swords is quite different. This nine of swords here we have the man that is stand, standing up, holding a sword in his hand, and ready to slay the demon or that lizard or whatever that monster is. So, in your love life. I feel like whatever is bothering you, you are going to recover from it. You are going to gain some kind of confidence. I mean, here we had the page of swords in reverse position, which was indicating some kind of confusion that was causing you some kind of emotional disbalance. But here with the nine, nine of swords, it wants to indicate that you are going to take things in your hands. You are going to just cut through those things that are making you feel uncertain or insecure and just, well, as a general, I feel like you are just going to step up your game and just uh, gain, regain your confidence and just move forward um, in a more confident way and just know what you want and you are not going to settle with anything less with, than what you deserve. So this was your reading pal number one. I hope you have enjoyed it and if you did, if you find it useful and informative, please don't hesitate to hit the like button so more people can benefit from it. And also feel free to subscribe to my channel because your support literally means the world to me. So the energies were a bit mixed, but they are coming from present moment and moving towards a future moment. But the overall the reading wants to indicate that there is some kind of improvement here. That's what I'm feeling from your future self that the, the, your future self is saying to you, hang on, there is some kind of a better plan for you. At least that's what I perceived from the hangman that appeared two times um, in, the, in this reading. So, yeah, that was it, pal number one. I hope to see you again. Bye! Hey there, pal number two. So, the P wants to say to you communication. And the P has Pisces sign. Also, I just noticed those four pieces here that are outside of that hole so four is number of stability and noticing that uh, feather here that's writing thing with the ink uh, I just sense that some of you are going to express yourself some of you might be writing down something some of you might be expressing yourself in um, in uh, the social media or just writing down something in a creative way or in general, the card says communication, which might indicate some kind of creative communication or ways to express yourself because you have Pisces energy as well. Or, yeah, in general, I sense uh, some kind of conversation, some kind of communication from this card and some kind of creativity that is about to come in your life uh, for the end of the year, by the end of the year. So I'm just going to check the current uh, energies. I'm going to use my new deck. I might use my notebook in order to get check some keywords for these cards because they have uh, reversed meanings as well. So first I'm going to shuffle the deck and I'm going to take three main energies, three main topics for the year that is about to come. Oops. 
Okay, please Spirit, give us information. What are the three main topics for the next uh, six months for the, yeah, by the end of this year? What are the three main topics of the people who chose pile number two? We have the intuition in reverse. Okay. Then we have coming of winter in reverse. Interesting. And finally we have Banshee. Okay. So let's start from the very beginning. Just going to make sure that they're visible. So the intuition card in reverse position wants to say to you that whatever is coming towards you in the next six months this card wants to say to you to listen to your intuition to go deeper within your intuition since it came in reverse position it wants to say to you that maybe some of you are trying to well not trying to ignore but maybe some of you are not listening to that uh, inner voice within you so with the intuition card in reverse position it just wants you to focus within yourself within your intuition and listen to the voices that are coming from your subconscious mind mm. just going to take a look at this card well actually i'm just sensing pure <laughs> intuition from this card I, I i really don't sense anything else from it i just sense some kind of, uh, I mean, just seeing all those three eyes here and all of them have blue color and especially this one is drawing my attention as it is not a typical eye to have on the forehead, but this is the third eye. So I feel like this card just wants to say to you in general to, to just uh, listen to your intuition. But also she has something like a hat here or like an aura and it's a bit dark. Maybe it also wants to say to you, don't be afraid to go within the darkness, within your own dark night of the soul, within the darkness in general. It just wants to say to you, just uh, dive within yourself and don't be afraid to listen to your inner voice. I'm just going to put it back. And also we have coming of winter. I don't know why, just... It just hits me that it has a number 11, which might be significant for some of you. In general, the number 11 is quite important. The number 11 is, uh, yeah, it's, it's a powerful number. It has two ones. But coming of winter wants to say some kind of a period of rest, preparation for something. And since this card came in reverse position, it wants to say to you to prepare yourself for something. And uh, also it might indicate to you if you are overworking yourself, maybe it's time to just take some break. Maybe it's time to just uh, leave things uh, on the side and take some time for yourself and take good care of yourself because the coming of winter wants to just indicate preparation for winter preparation for something and preparation for just take things easy just to rest a bit because the winter is about rest within this card it is not about uh, taking some kind of actions it is about um, resting about taking um, taking some kind of time for yourself and then we have the Banshee. Mm. Okay, the Banshee is, is not a positive card because it is uh, some kind of a soul, some kind of a rock, some kind of, um, some kind of a spirit that cannot find rest. And uh, yeah, this card appearing in this reading it feels like there is something that is bothering you. There is something that uh, might be might be weighing, weighing you down and something that you are not uh, able to quite figure out yet. But it feels like it's there. It feels like it is there. It is a bit like haunting you. It is giving you some kind of confusions. It might give you some kind of hard feelings and emotions to deal with. But... 
having the Banshee energy, it's actually yeah, it just indicates that there is something out there that it just doesn't feel it feels like it's haunting you somehow it might be something from your past or it might be something that well for the different people is going to resonate in a different way but i just sense that here we are talking about some kind of um haunting spirit or just something that um Something that you're carrying carrying within you that you know that is not uh, good for you. Some some kind of emotion or feeling that you have uh, that you are just carrying with you and it feels like uh, weighing you down. It feels a bit heavy. And it just showed itself uh, here for the next uh, six months as well that it is present. And maybe the cards are going to give us uh, information how to how to get rid of it or what to do about it and actually i was planning to go in a different direction for this reading but uh, since the banshee came i feel like i don't feel like just leaving you like this i'm just going to take some cards for the banshee in order to know what what is the situation with the banshee okay please spirit give us information about this banshee how it should be dealt with what what can be done about it two of cups wheel of fortune in reverse three of cups wow <laughs> here the message is quite 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 strong for some of you might resonate for some of you might not but what i sense here the Banshee has something to do with um, relationships. Some of you might have something regarding your relationships. And it has something to do with the bad timing. Something that, um, something that is not happening on the right time. Or, or it just wants to indicate bad luck. With, maybe some of you are being traumatized with bad luck bit bad luck in the relationship some of you have had bad past experiences in your relationships and having the three of cups for some of you might indicate um, that maybe you have experienced in the past three uh, third uh, party kind of situation that might have traumatized you and this is why the banshee is coming here but it has something to do with your relationships, either your relationship with yourself or your relationship with... It could also indicate family kind of relationship, it can indicate some kind of a deep-rooted relationship. But it has something to do with your relationship, some kind of trauma or some kind of... Um, I don't know exactly how to, how to picture it, but it's just something regarding your relationships that is a bit haunting you, is still still appearing in your life somehow. Sorry for the camera shake. So I will do two on two kind of, uh, kind of reading. Uh, I will just ask a question and then ask your future self how it's going to go. First I'm going to ask for the current energies. So please Spirit tell us what is the current energy what are the current situations with pile number two what we need to know three of swords in reverse three of cups and the devil cards okay so again we have the three of cups it is not in reverse position it doesn't have to be third party, but for some of you, I sense some kind of a third party situation here going on. It it might not resonate with everyone, of course, but this is what I'm sensing. I'm just going to put this stone here or Bulbasaur, maybe, yes, better Bulbasaur, <laughs> temporarily to guard the nudity. So what I'm sensing here from these cards, the Three of Swords in reverse position wants to indicate recovery. As a current energy, you are recovering from something and that thing might be related either with friendships, because this card wants to indicate friendships or, 
or some kind of a fake fake friendship situation and or either you're recovering from some kind of friendship situation from sensation that you were betrayed or there is some kind of a third party involved in this that you are recovering from it actually because the three of swords came in reverse position which is the good news it means that you are not suffering anymore you are in your recovery and having the devil card it wants to say some kind of um, some kind of limit some kind of um, attachments some kind of attachments that are being formed and this is a present energy okay let's ask your future self please future self of pile number two give us information about this very same situation in the future six months from now on how it's going to evolve what okay these are too many but i will take just a few of them okay i'll take this one and this one okay So, okay. We have the Hero Fund and we have the Ten of Pentacles and Ten of Swords. I needed to shuffle a bit this deck because I wanted to get some kind of a neutral card in the bottom of the deck. So, um, the Hero Fund is saying to you that you are about to learn something because my attention immediately got focused on the book that the Hierophant is holding. So usually the Hierophant has a lot to do with traditions, the way you see things, your traditional beliefs, your traditional uh, acceptance of things. And having this Hierophant here is a major arcana for this situation with that um, current situation regarding your recovery and that maybe third party kind of situation or some kind of limits or some kind of um, yeah some kind of attachments this card wants to say to you that you are going to learn from it you are going to get some kind of experience from it and you are going to expand your understandings your belief system you are going to expand your principles or the way you yeah the way you see things in general and also I just noticed those two keys here somehow and it's like you are about to find some kind of um, solution to that situation. You are going to move forward from it somehow. And having the, the Ten of Pentacles under this card, here within this pen, Ten of Pentacles we see that they have already collected the Pentacles there and they have put them in some kind of... Um, yeah, in some kind of uh, casket or something. Mm. And we see that the child is playing here and he has a dog. Mm. Well, within this depiction of the Ten of Pentacles, what I'm sensing is that uh, there is something like... Um, no, actually, this... This child, this child is just taking that pentacle out or maybe it's putting it in. But what I'm sensing from this card is actually something positive. It's like gathering together all the things that you can gather, gathering together all the knowledge, all the... It's like gaining experience, that's what I'm feeling. It's like this child is putting this pentacle here and just gaining some kind of experience from that situation. Maybe some of you might... Uh, might uh, literally find something in your material world as well. Maybe some of you will uh, will manage to save uh, some kind of fund, some kind of money in order to prosper in your financial world as well. That also might be the indication with this Ten of Pentacles. But here definitely I see more like um, maturing from this situation, like um, Becoming wiser, especially having the hero fund on top of this. It's like finding some kind of higher knowledge 
finding some kind of experience, some kind of uh, higher knowledge that is going to set you on a better path for the future. And having the Ten of Swords, um, Ten of Swords in the bottom of the deck, this is like a complete story here because here in this depiction of the Ten of Swords we have somebody that has already been stabbed in the back and within this depiction we see that he's been carried forward so it's like it wants to indicate that this situation is moving forward whatever has 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 happened has already happened and you are already being moved forward to the next stage to the next step so whatever has happened it shouldn't worry you you are your future self wants to say to you that you are moving forward from that situation from that current situation that might have been bothering you so let's ask the next question just going to take Bulbasaur back I'm going to put these cards back okay Next question will be regarding your professional life. It's going to shuffle like this. Okay, Spirit, please tell us what is the current energy within the professional life of pile number two? What we need to know about their professional life? Nine of Wands, Queen of Cups in reverse, and Page of Cups in reverse. Okay, interesting here. So, currently in your professional life, I feel like some of you are... Just bear with me until I lift it up. Some of you are, like, quite tired. Some of you are barely holding on. You have already, like, built up those wands. You have already place those wands behind you and still you are holding on with pride you are holding on with um, with your achievements you just know what you have achieved but at the same time you are quite tired and i mean you can see how this uh, man looks like he looks a bit wounded like um, he doesn't seem all right he seems quite tired from their professional work so some of you might be working way too hard and it might be affecting you on a physical level as well and having the queen of uh, cups under this card this is for the current energy by the way i i'm getting perplexed myself but when i talk about your future self i'm using the after tarot so the queen of cups in reverse position wants to indicate some kind of emotional dissatisfaction so the tiredness if you are feeling tired from the work that you are doing if you are feeling like exhausted like you are barely hanging on just like this man all that sensation is coming from that queen of cups that is under this card which wants to say something about your emotional state about your emotional being so whatever is going on in your emotional world it is affecting your professional life as well or maybe I just want to say that you are emotionally not feeling that satisfied with the work you are doing at the moment. And having the page of uh, cups on as a general energy in the bottom of the deck, it wants to say that something is just not... Well, there is some kind of, again, dissatisfaction here overall. In your professional life as a current energy, what I'm sensing from the cards is dissatisfaction. It's like this page wants to wants to just hold that cup and, and just stare at that fish and admire the fish. But since this card came in reverse, I feel like you are not admiring much what you are doing at the moment. Or there is some kind of dissatisfaction as an energy going on regarding your professional life as a current energy. So let's go with the after tarot and see what we are going to get. Please, Spirit, give us information. What is coming in the professional life of the people who chose the, the P, the pile number two? What is coming there in their professional life in the next six months? The candle just went off. I will 
I already knew it. I have a new one next to me. Judgment card. Seven of Pentacles. And the Hanged Man. Okay. Just bear with me until I change the candle. All right. So, your future self wants to say to you that um, with the judgment card, you shouldn't worry that much regarding that present situation that is going on because there will be some kind of change, there will be some kind of awakening here and what you need to leave behind, you are going to leave it behind because you can see that here there are like skeletons and corpses that are in those coffins and whoever is being chosen, whoever is has done a good work or something, they are being uplifted. So just seeing this card, it wants to say to you that there will be some kind of a wake-up call here. That's what I'm sensing from the card, from the angel that is just blowing that uh, that musical <laughs> instrument. Uh, yeah, I feel like there will be some kind of a wake-up call here in your professional life and you are going to realize something. You are going to... Maybe some of you are going to re find out uh, about your life purpose or some of you might uh, start um, start seeing things from a different perspective. But there will be something like a wake up call here by the end of this year. Something that will just uh, make you realize things, make you see things from a different perspective and just, uh, just have a better idea of what you want to do in your professional life. That's what I'm feeling. And under this card, you have the Seven of uh, Pentacles, which wants to say, well, normally this card uh, has something to say about waiting, but seeing this guy, I don't think he's waiting. He's already like uh, ready to pick up the pick up the fruits of his labor. So, yeah, what I'm sensing from this card, this card wants to indicate that the time for something is coming. Together with this card, I sense like uh, your future self wants to say to you that the time for you to pick up the fruits of your labor is getting near. You are going to get something like a wake up call and know what to do in your professional life. But some of you might receive um, some of you might receive some kind of financial benefits as well because we have pentacles here. It has something to do with money. And as you can see, this man is just picking up one of the pentacles in his hand. And also another one he has separated. I feel like if he continues, he will just take all of them. And he seems quite uh, content with himself. So I really sense that in your professional life, there will be some kind of changes. And you are going to be much happier than, than the current energy. Because the current energy that we saw was not good. So this is about to change with these two cards here and with the hanged man. Well, here in this depiction of the hanged man, we see the hanged man that is getting some kind of water from somebody that is um, that is just giving water in his mouth. Mm. Well, with the hanged man, again, I just noticed that sun that is behind his head. It's like some kind of enlightenment here, change of perspective and also nurturing because this woman is just giving him water so she's nurturing him somehow. And yeah, I feel like there will be some kind of situation of nurturing here. There will be situation of change of perspective, change of ideas. Something is going to change in your professional life. And definitely you are going to see things from a different perspective. Things might turn... Oh, my cat stopped waving. Okay, <laughs> I just noticed. So, definitely there will be some kind of a change of perspectives here. There will be some kind of... Um, yeah, you are just going to see things from a completely different degrees. Things are going to turn 180 degrees around and you are going to see things literally maybe from upside down and discover something new that you want to do or just receive some kind of a wake-up call. But whatever is going to 
happened feels like a happy moment for you it doesn't feel i don't sense that tense energies that i sense currently i sense some kind of realization something like wake up call like getting some kind of a new idea or something that yeah just makes you feel more content with yourself all right let's move to the next topic that we are going to go with your future self just bear with me for a moment until I pick up the cards. Normally with pal one, pal number one, I kept all the cards here, but there was not much space and I think it was not a good idea. So with you, I'm proceeding differently. I'm just removing the cards and reshuffling them. So, yeah. The next question will be about your love life. Although we already saw something like a sneak peek uh, when I was asking about the Banshee and also as a current energy there was something going on I think with your love life that was a bit troubling you. But we saw that it's improving already but still. Please Spirit give us information about the current situation in the love life. Seven of Wands in in reverse. Okay, what else do you need to know about this situation in the love life of pal number two? Two of Swords and Ten of Cups in the bottom. Okay, so as a current situation, the cards want to indicate to you with the seven of wands here, I feel like you are giving up on something. You are giving up on defending yourself or explaining yourself or protecting yourself from something or just trying to prove yourself. And this is coming because you are seeing something clearly. This is a current energy. It might it might come now or it might come in in these days, in present days as an energy, but with this card, you are getting out of this moment of indecision. You are getting out of this moment when you were not knowing what to do. You are realizing something. And uh, yeah, after that realization, you just decide to give up on something like lower your guards or just not try to prove yourself to someone or just to defend yourself constantly or just prove your points. It's like you are giving up on something. You are like letting go of something. This is the overall energy. And having the Ten of uh, Cups as a general energy, it wants to indicate complete happiness. So I feel like for some of you, as a current energy, you are about to find happiness either within you or within some kind of connection. But this card wants to indicate some kind of harmony. Either you are going to find your inner harmony within you because what I what we see from these cards it just wants to say that letting go of some kind of some kind of uh, guard something that you constantly needed to prove yourself or something like that and seeing things in a clear way so if you are in a relationship within your relationship you are going to well as a current energy, you are about to find some kind of a happiness, some kind of stability, some kind of happy moment. But if you are not in a relationship, then you are going to just feel more harmonious within yourself just by letting go of things that you just need to let go. All right, future self of pal number two. How are things going in their love life? What we need to know about their love life? The Magician card, <clears throat> Page of Cups, and in the bottom we have the Seven of Cups. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. So, let's take a look at the Magician card, the Major Arcana. So here the Magician card is already doing their magic. They are like moving things around and they are manifesting things. So your future self is saying to you that 
Maybe you have had some kind of disappointments. Maybe you have felt like the fish has already jumped out of the cup here. But with the magician card, you are like getting like pro in this thing. You are like knowing how to manifest things. You are stepping into your power. You are not being upset or anything. And also in the bottom, we have the seven of cups, which wants to indicate a lot of choices. But yeah, as a general energy, what I'm perceiving from the magician card is like, you are just stepping back into your power. You are regaining your power. You are like um, realizing that you have the power to change things. And here we have this man a bit worried that the fish is just jumping out from that cup. But climbing up it wants to say that you might have 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 had some kind of worries regarding your love life but your future self wants to say to you that um, you are about to realize how powerful you are how skillful you are and how you can just attract the thing that you want in your life so i feel a lot of confidence from this card and having the seven of cups here Within this depiction of the Seven of Cups, you can see that the man has already chosen the treasure, has already picked up the treasure here, and also has a snake around his waist. So, this wants to say that maybe you had a lot of choices, and maybe some of you already made their choice, they already made their mind regarding what to pick within their love life, and they chose to have the, that treasure here, whatever treasure symbolizes for you. But at the same time with the treasure comes a danger as well. So I feel like some of you, I mean, your future self wants to say to some of you, you that um, you have already picked up, uh, you have already made your mind about something. And even though you just know the risks and the consequences, you decide to go for something. That's what I'm feeling from this card as a general energy. But... Just this ma magician here, I feel like, plays a very important role because my attention just falls to the magician as, as major energy for this question because this was the first card that came out and I feel like it just wants to indicate that you realize in your love life that you have a lot of power and you can just choose whatever you want to do. So, closing the reading with these cards I mean, at least this message was quite positive with the Magician card. I feel like you are going to really get empowered within your love life. You will feel like you have all the options that you want to have. So, this was your reading pile number two. I hope you have enjoyed it and I hope it was uh, insightful. And if you did enjoy it, please don't hesitate to hit the like button so more people can see it. And also, feel free to subscribe to my channel because your subscription means really the world to me. Because I need all the support in order to, in order to grow my channel. And yeah, there isn't that much I can add to this. Um, I tried my best to give you all the information that the cards wanted to indicate for your reading and everything that was coming from your future self and the current energies. So, that was it for today. Thank you very much for being with me. Thank you for your time and I hope to see you again. Have a lovely rest of the day. Bye! Hello there, pal number three. Let's take a look what the, the grape wants to say to you. Well, the word for the grape card is abundance, which is not bad news at all. And we have the Sagittarius energy as well. We have some kind of a necklace here and we have a moon with stars. So it feels quite interesting. I mean, having the abundance message in general wants to say that maybe some of you are going to have quite abundant time until the rest of the year. And maybe some of you might gain something in material world as well. So maybe some of you might get some kind of financial uh, profit. Or some of you might find a new dream of yours with this uh, moon and stars. And having the Sagittarius sign, it might indicate like, like uh, pointing towards your dreams and goals or just traveling around. But the card says abundance and what I'm sensing from this card is that uh, it just has that uh, energy of um, traveling around, visiting places finding out things and just 
just enjoying life in general that's what i'm sensing so let's take a look at the season of the witches uh, oracle cards and see what are the three main topics for the next six months just going to shuffle like this mm. whoops Let's see what are the three main energies or the three main things for the end by, by the end of this year. We have the rooted cards. Okay. We have the nature spirits. Okay. And we have the apples in reverse okay so with the rooted card the rooted card wants to say to you that as one of the main topics here you are about to find your um, you're about to find your stability this card has a lot to do with grounding just grounding your energy or just uh, finding that stable point where you are going to feel comfortable with yourself and just taking a look at this uh, girl or this woman here I feel like she's um, she's like with her eyes closed and she's trusting um, she's just trusting her guides she's trusting her spirits and uh, she feels deeply connected with the background with the surroundings so this card wants to say to you that you might just um, mix in with your back with your surroundings you might just feel like you are in the right place you might feel like you are protected and you might uh, just uh, get uh, like you might just feel that you are mm, getting more grounded yeah that's what i'm sensing from this card more of a grounding energy i also sense some kind of feminine energy from this card it's like uh, you are just uh, finding some kind of uh, more sensual time or just uh, accepting yourself accepting who you are and just getting to a more grounded kind of state and then we have the nature spirits with the nature spirits it also wants to say to you that you are protected that you are surrounded by spirits because i mean seeing those candles in this card and this uh, bird i feel like this girl is surrounded by light surrounded by spirits and the nature spirits want to say to you that you are going to reconnect with your again with your surrounded with your um, with the world or with the world around you and since this came as a main topic i feel like indeed the topic of this reading i mean of this card is abundance and these cards are pretty much uh, supporting this by the nature nature spirits i feel like you are just um well, just I, I sense that you are going to feel comfortable. You are going to feel comfortable in your surrounding, in the people around you by the end of uh, the year. You are going to enter into a place where you might feel spiritual beings around you. You might feel some kind of spiritual, uh, spiritual creatures or something, some kind of presence around you that is guiding you, that is protecting you, that is helping you. But also, I just noticed that this girl is like waking up from something. So, indeed, for some of you, maybe you are about to realize something new. You are about to realize. Um, you are about to realize uh, some kind of a new reality or some kind of. Um, yeah, it's like uh, something is changing for you. You are seeing things from a different perspective, and you are like, you are just waking up from. From some kind of a dream and you are seeing things in a different way right now some of you might literally have spiritual awakening and having the apple cards in the reverse position it wants to indicate to watch out for someone that might try to trick you or if you know the fairy tale of the snow white i think this uh, woman is representing that evil queen that is disguised in order to give someone that poisonous apple and yeah since this card came in reverse 
it wants to say something about uh, some kind of um, deceit, some kind of um, trickery. So the cards wants to warn you to watch out because there might be people that might want to deceive you. There might be people that might want to trick you because they might want to just feed on your energy. So the card wants to say to you just watch out for for deceitful people. Okay, let's start with the reading itself. I'm going to use the classic Rider Waite Tarot for the reading and uh, for your future self I'm going to use the the after tarot. So Let's see what is your current energy right now. Please spirit give us information. What is the current energy of pile number three at this moment, at present days? What are their current energies? We have the knight, uh, nine of uh, swords in reverse and five of pentacles in reverse and the sun card in reverse. Okay, this is quite interesting here. So these two cards are saying that as a current energy you are overcoming something here you are coming out from a period of um, well if you take a look at this card these people seem quite miserable they seem like um, they feel like homeless people that are left out alone and they are coming out from this period from period of misery they are recovering from it since this card came in reverse and you are moving forward this is more feeling miserable either on your financial situations or your physical situation like health or something feeling like something is not going on all right since this card came in reverse it wants to say that there is some kind of recovery either in financial life or your health life uh, i mean <laughs> with your health and uh, having the the nine of swords in reverse position as well well, you can see that this person is suffering from nightmares or having tort like bad dreams or something like cannot sleep, having anxiety and frustrations. And since this card came in reverse as well, it wants to indicate that you are you are healing from that frustrations. You are healing from those uh, anxiety or from that thing that was not letting you sleep. And I feel like with these two cards coming up. We are talking about past situations of mental struggles, of maybe physical struggles, maybe financial struggles. But since both these cards came in reverse, this wants to say that you are recovering from, from all of these situations. You are recovering both from mental situations and from physical situations and financial situations. There is some kind of major healing going on here as a current energy. It is happening about now or in present days like in, in the days that are about to come. And having the Sun card in reverse position here as a general energy, it wants to indicate some kind of happiness, some kind of happiness that is about to come into your life, but it might not feel complete because the card came in reverse. Since the Sun card is reverse, it might indicate that um, there is some kind of happiness that is coming into your life, but there are things that need to be rearranged a bit. So that's what we are going to check with the with my after tarot in order to see how are things working out in the future. What is your future self going to say to you regarding this situation? So please future self of pile number three, tell us how is this current energy changing six months from now? How are things going on by the end of this year? How is this shifting by the end of this year? Knight of Pentacles, Temperance, and Ten of Pentacles. Okay, this seems quite good. So, this indicates more your financial life actually, and you, maybe your physical health as well, depending on your situation, how it resonates with you within this card. But I sense both financial and and physical health getting better. So, having the Knight of Pentacles here, 
This night is the most stable night. This night is the night that makes the most decisive moves. And uh, yeah, having this night appearing in this reading, it wants to say that you are moving steady towards something. You are finding your stability. It's similar to the rooted card here. You are gaining some kind of material material wealth or some kind of uh, material stability, something that is making you feel stable in your material life. Because this knight is holding the coin like this in his hand and like contemplating it. And I feel like this knight is a bit proud with what they have achieved. Or in general, I sense that energy of this knight that uh, is, um, yeah, it just uh, feels like you have achieved something within your material life and you are feeling stable. But your horse is a bit tired. <laughs> That's what I noticed as well in this depiction of the card. The horse seems a bit tired. So maybe you need to take some break, but still you are going to step into more stable kind of um, grounds in your financial or material life. And having the temperance card under the Knight of Pentacles, it also wants to indicate something about balance. It's like this person is choosing to set themselves free. I mean, this is not a person, this is an angel. But, I mean, you can note that the one foot of this angel is in the water, the other one is stepping on a stone. So, there is something that has to do with emotions and something that has to say, it has to do with stability. In all cases, this card wants to indicate some kind of stability, some kind of recovery, because this angel looks a bit like a doctor. He's holding something on his forehead like the doctors would have in order to look to see better. So I feel like this card wants to indicate some kind of major recovery here. And it also has um, has Sagittarius energy. So I feel like, uh, well, similar to this card, I feel like something is like, in general, some of you might have Sagittarius in your life, but the Sagittarius energy is like adopting some kind of... Um, some kind of higher consciousness. It is like um, moving beyond the the borders. It's like moving forward, moving beyond the borders, discovering new things, discovering new cultures and getting enlightened because also this angel here has some kind of a glow around his head that also I noticed. And also setting yourself free because this angel is pouring the water in the lake. So the emotions are going down and a bird is coming out from the other cup. So you are setting yourself free and the bird is white. It's like a white dove, the bird of peace. So definitely the cards want to indicate that you are setting yourself free from something. And the Ten of Pentacles again wants to indicate some kind of material well-being, some kind of financial well-being. And it's like this child is collecting those things that is putting them in order to to guard them so the overall energy is you are collecting something you are collecting some kind of material wealth or some kind of um well in general whatever is going on it just wants to indicate some kind of positivity some kind of stability because it has something to do with earth energy so if you were feeling a bit shaky in your financial world the news are good from your future self because your future self wants to say to you that you are gaining some kind of material well-being, some kind of material wealth. Whatever the case is with you in your present situation, your future self wants to say to you that you are getting much more stable. You are getting, you are finding some kind of stability in your life. And you are feeling good on material level. Alright, let's move to the next topics. The next topic will be about your career, about your professional life. Just bear with me until I shuffle the deck. <clears throat> okay. Please, Spirit, tell us what are the current energies in the professional life of pile number three? What are the current energies in their professional life? Q. 
King of Wands, the World card reversed, and Page of Wands. Okay, Wands energy here. So, <clears throat> we have the King of Wands here and the World card. What I'm sensing as a current energy is that some of you might be quite active, some of you might be quite busy, some of you might uh, be moving around and feeling passionate about something. There is like that uh, inner fire within you. But the world card under this card and in reverse position might indicate some kind of borders again, like um, even though there are some kind of borders, even though not everything is perfect, not everything is going all right within your professional life, still you are feeling all right. There might be some kind of obstacles, there might be some kind of difficulties, but still you are sitting on your throne and you are trying your best in order to move forward, in order to get the best ideas and just uh, keep performing. And... Yeah, this is what I'm getting from these cards here. There are some kind of obstacles here. There is something that doesn't feel alright in your professional life, at least at the moment. But still, you are hanging on quite okay with it. You are, you are taking it as a pro. You are just uh, handling it somehow and you are looking forward. You are looking towards the future. And having the Page of Wands in the, in the bottom of the deck wants to say that Especially this page of wands in the classic tarot, I just note that he's taking a good look at that wand. It's like he's trying to find out something. He's trying to... Well, since the page is like a child in the tarot, I feel like this wants to indicate that in your professional life, you are still like a child. You are still growing and you are still finding out ways in order to grow, which ways to grow, which ways to choose, which, which actions to take. So this card wants to indicate that there is still a lot to be, like, there is still a lot to be desired, there is still a lot to grow, there is, there is an open room, I mean, an open space of uh, opportunities that you can still discover. And also seeing that this page of wands in a, is in a place with pyramids and with sand, it also wants to say that there is something like, expansion here going on so there is more to discover there is more to be desired there is more that can be achieved in your professional life this is what the card wants to indicate as a general energy so please future self tell us how are the things with the professional life of pile number three by the end of this year how are things going to work out for them in their professional life We have the Two of Swords, <clears throat> and again we have the King of Wands, and the Seven of Swords. Okay, this came interesting here. So, having the Two of Swords, mm, this wants to indicate that by the end of the year you might pull back a bit from your professional life. You might uh, just let things... Mm, well, seeing this woman that is sitting behind and giving the sword to this man to fight, it's like you are choosing to pull back from something. You are choosing to pull your energy back from something and let somebody have their own battle. Or if you are in some kind of competitive field, you are just uh, letting your competition do what they do and you are just uh, going more within and observing the things, how they are going. This is what I'm feeling from this card. And having the King of Wands again, this King of Wands actually seems a lot more confident. So that pullback is not actually that much of a pullback since we have this King of Wands under the card. I feel like you just know which way to go, you just know what you want. And if you pull back, you are pulling back because you just decide to take a break and just uh, let someone else have their moment. That's what I'm feeling. This is what your future self is saying to you, that you might take something like a break from your career. Or not exactly a break, but something like um, maybe a small step back in order to see how things are going to go. But overall, 
you are still on the throne and I mean this king of wands he's even holding the lizard it's like he has the creativity he has the new ideas so I see you quite confident by the end of the year as well for your professional life I see you quite confident sitting on a throne and just knowing what you want and if you decide to pull back from something you are pulling back with uh, mindfulness you are you just know what you do and normally this card wants to say something about indecision <clears throat> but within this depiction I just I mean having the king of wands under this card it just uh, leads me to something positive because this card is pointing towards this one so yeah I feel like you are just going to let someone else have the things for you that also could be the option maybe you are going to expand and you are going to hire people that are going to do things for you that also could be the option for some of you since this is a collective reading that also could be possible but in the bottom of the deck we have the seven of swords and as you can see this cheeky person is trying to steal something away trying to steal all these swords and run away but in this tarot this cheeky person is being caught so this wants to indicate for your professional life that you are going to you are going to see through some kind of a deceit or you are going to catch something you are going to well in general if there there is some kind of a deceit if there is some kind of situation of treachery or deceit you are going to catch the thief this is what your future self wants to say to you as a general energy and also we have the same thing here with the apples if you remember i mentioned to you to be careful for people that might try to trick you or deceive you with this card your future self is saying to you that you are going to catch the thief you are going to catch the people that are trying to deceive you so let's move with the next topic that i have prepared for you from your future self which is regarding your love life First, I'm going to check the current energies like I usually do with the classic tarot. Just going to shuffle a bit. Let's see what are the current energies regarding your love life. My voice is going away, sorry for that. <clears throat> I have a bit of a sore throat lately. So, please Spirit, give us information. What are the current energies of, for the love life of pile number 3? What we need to know about the current energies in their love life. Okay. Okay okay interesting <laughs> so as a current energy we have two of pentacles ten of pentacles reversed and uh, wheel of fortune again we have pentacles pile number three uh, well the card is saying abundance and i definitely feel like there is a lot of abundance that's about to come into your life by the end of this year um and since we are talking about pentacles, we are talking about financial abundance because a lot of pentacles came out in your reading. And let's take a look what we have here. We have, as a current energy, you trying to balance something. You trying to find the balance in something in your love life. And it's like, yeah, trying to just uh, juggle things around. That's what I'm feeling here for your love life. Maybe some of you are already in a relationship and you are just trying to make that relationship work somehow or you are just balancing between your love life and something else. This is coming as a major energy together with the Wheel of Fortune. Well, actually the message is positive here because we have the Wheel of Fortune in an upright position which wants to indicate that something is about to change and you are about to find some kind of a balance in your love life. Regardless of in what situation you are, this is a current energy actually, this is for now, for like present days that you are 
managing to put things together in your love life. You are managing to juggle things around. And the Wheel of Fortune wants to say some kind of a positive change. The time for something is coming. The time for something is... It's like you are just spinning the Wheel of Fortune and it's sticking on the... And, and it's stopping on the jackpot spot or on a spot that is beneficial for you. It's just because it came in an upright position. And... Yeah, actually, if I'm not mistaken, the Wheel of Fortune has the Jupiter planet. And since we are talking about Sagittarius here, Sagittarius is the, I mean, Jupiter is um, ruler of Sagittarius. Again, something with Sagittarius. Here I sense a lot of Sagittarius energy, a lot of traveling, different cultures, abundance, connecting with people maybe from different cultures for this pile. But... Yeah, having the Wheel of Fortune and the Two of Pentacles here, just want to say that something is setting into place, something is starting to be put in balance, or you are just managing to juggle something in your love life, managing to somehow find some kind of a balance here. And having the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse position, it also wants to indicate that as a current energy there is there are some kind of bothersome energies in your love life. There is some kind of incompletion, um, something that doesn't feel quite all right in your love life. Mm, it's like, well, if you take a look at this card, here we have something like a full family full of abundance. And since this card came in reverse, I feel like something is not uh, feeling that abundant currently in your love life. It's like, as a general energy, something is feeling off in your love life. Either if you are in a relationship or if you are single, something just doesn't feel that alright at the moment. It might not resonate with all of you, but this is the general energy that the card just wanted to indicate. And let's see what your future self has to say about your love life. Please, future self of pal number three, give us information what is about to come in the love life of pal number three. Please give us the current, I mean, the. <laughs> please tell us what is about to come in the next six months in the lives of pal number three regarding their love life. King of, King of Wands again. Seven of Pentacles, another Pentacle card. And in the bottom we have the Emperor. Okay. And I just noticed that the Emperor is holding a coin here. Okay. It's quite interesting. So. We have a lot of masculine energy here that is coming this way. I mean, your way. But it doesn't have to be... I mean, from, I mean, masculine energy doesn't have to be from male gender, it's not obligatory, it's just an energy. But it just wants to indicate that there is some kind of activity here, there is some kind of action. And having the pentacles also, again, something is reaching fruition here, but let's start one by one to not get distracted. Having the king of wands, I sense that what is coming in your love life, from that situation here is a lot of confidence. I sense that you just know what you want and you are not about to settle for anything less than what you want. And you are just sitting on your throne and holding that lizard. It's like it's like you just you just know what you want. You just know where you are going towards. I see you very confident, pal number three. I see you like achieving the things you want and just sitting confident on your throne and having the seven of pentacles under this card within the normal tarot this person is not picking up that pentacle yet this person is waiting for that pentacle to mature because it, it's taking care of that plant it's growing the pentacles on the plant but here within this tarot i feel like um, this person is ready to harvest so yeah, I, I sense that there is some kind of harvesting going on. You are picking up the fruits of your labor. 
and you are feeling quite confident, you are feeling quite content and this emperor here again wants to indicate some kind of confidence it wants to indicate uh, sitting on a throne, knowing which way you go and it also indicates some kind of masculine energy so depending of uh, your life situation and your gender I feel like for some of you there is a strong masculine energy entering your life as a general energy here or it might resonate differently for you but uh, another thing that I'm picking up is that you feel quite uh, comfortable in your love life you feel like you are oh I see you very confident I see you very relaxed and confident for your love life regardless of what is happening in your love life by the end of this year I see you quite content and quite confident just knowing what you want and uh, it's like I don't see you like taking much action to be honest because this king and the emperor this king has a lot of similar energy to the emperor I see them as somebody that is sitting on a throne and giving orders or just um, being on some kind of a high position or something like that but yeah with these cards I sense that you are going to be quite all right in your in your romantic life as well regardless of what is going to happen I sense you quite content and quite stable like just sitting on your throne and feeling blessed well this card <laughs> had a lot to do with the entire reading because it set the overall tone of the reading all of the things kind of rolled around that topic of abundance and I don't know what has happened within your life before I mean as we saw in the current energies you have had a lot of difficulties but things are shifting in your favor by the end of this year at least this is what the cards wanted to indicate and please listen to your intuition in order to get the right messages for you. So that was your reading pile number three. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed it and if you did please don't hesitate to hit the like button so more people can see it and benefit from it. And also feel free to subscribe to my channel because your subscription literally means the world to me and it helps me grow and just motivates me to keep going and coming up with more creative ideas and and yeah just keep making content for you so there is nothing more to say about your reading pal number three about your reading it came quite good and quite positive i definitely think that by the end of this year things are going to improve for you and you are going to feel much more confident and you are going to feel much more content with yourself regardless of anything i see you as someone who is confident and content with what they have achieved so that was it pal number three thank you very much for your time thank you for being with me and i hope to see you again hope you have a lovely day bye